Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you, welcome to Make It For Lost Time. My name is Katie. Today I am going to be popping this palette's cherry. It's the Fairy Frolic palette from Alien Cosmetics. The color story looks like this. It was actually kind of an unassuming color story and yet I was so drawn to it. That actually, this seeing this palette is what got me like like started me on the down the rabbit hole of Alien Cosmetics. I saw this palette and like started like researching them and digging up more and more and more. I do have a discount code for Alien Cosmetics. It's Lost Katie, L O S S E D. It'll save you 10% and I also have a affiliate link listed down below which means if you buy from there, I make money. And since it's a brand that I'm totally happy to support and every time everything I've tried from them, the aesthetic is amazing, the palettes have amazing color stories, and the more I work with them, the more I'm falling in fucking love with them. The shimmers are out of this world, ironically, and they have pressed glitters, which I'm actually, like, the last pressed glitters I used in their palette were fucking amazing. So anyways, if you want to see how I got this look or what I think about this palette, or if you just like to watch me do unspeakable acts to virgin palettes the world over, then just hang out. I have fucking color overwhelm right here. I don't know exactly what I want to do, so I'm going to try to do something that's probably not going to work. So I don't <clears throat> know what the names of the colors are. So I'm just going to go into this like rose, this dusty mauve here, which is exactly the opposite of what my intention was when I first grabbed this palette. And I'm just going to start placing that in my outer V and in my crease. I'm just going for the easy. My last things that I've done are pretty, have been pretty intricate, so I'm just going for something easy. I'm using my Beely, the brush that was m more dense and tape, less tapered that time. You guys know that old, that one time. <laughs> I'm just blending out. that outer edge. And then now I'm gonna use the other BLE brush. I really like these brushes, you guys. Literally, this set was 10 bucks. They're amazing. Now, I'm gonna go into this mustard yellow, <clears throat> and I can't tell how mustard it is. So if it's too, if there's too much green in it, there's not. Okay, awesome. This might just work. It's always nice when you do the take the risky move with the palette and then it, it when it works out or when it looks like it's gonna work then you know you know it's good if you took the thing that like looked like it could go wrong and it doesn't go wrong then winning so I wanted to do a look that like matched my shirt like green greeny but I was wearing a tank top because it was like nice and warm out, but now it's like kind of cruddy. So I had to throw on my sweater and then I lost my inspiration. Well, to use the green. Plus, you know how when you look at a palette sometimes and you're like, dude, you like look at it and you're like, this is what I'm going to do. But then you look at it again and you're like, oh my God, I want to do all the things. I want to do terrible things to this palette. Plus, I wanted it to look like, I thought, what would it look like if I was a fairy frolicking right now? I'm going back into that pink. I'm just going to build that up. Man, I really like this. It's just a nice wash. I actually wore my Anastasia eyeshadow primer because I wanted it to be kind of light and airy. I, I don't know, for those of you who are new, most of you aren't. I've kind of been talking a lot lately about the difference between the P. Louise primer and the ABH primer. It's that the ABH primer really dries down matte and the P. Louise primer does not. It stays, 
it doesn't stay tacky per se, but it does. It's like a moist <laughs> primer when you want the colors to just pop. And this was makeup with Michelle. I I she's the one who got me to thinking about it, about what it does. And so I've been thinking about why it does. I like that. Simple. Not every look has to change the world, Katie. There. Ooh. Ooh, that's the sweet spot right there. Just a little blushy. It looks blush, blushy. Okay, and now I just am gonna add a little bit of depth by, I'll tell you what, I really like those Jessup brushes too. They are really fucking good. I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Goss number 20. It's just this tiny, tiny. And I'm gonna go into this center color. I wish, I wonder if there was names on the plastic and I just didn't, but I'm going to use a center color. It's kind of a reddish brown purple. I'm just going to grab a little tiny bit of it and just barely focus that in the outer V. Maybe pull it into my crease, but I'm going to stay in the crease, which I haven't been doing very much lately. This was pretty much the no brainer. Pretty. Back in with that yellow, the brush I was using for the yellow, which absolutely does work with this pink. And then back in with the brush with the pink with no additional product. I'm just kind of sweeping this out. Man, that was almost too easy. I'm going to use my Voldemorphe M421 and I'm going to apply NYX Glitter Primer on my lid. And I'm just going to start laying this on my lid. I'm gonna use a, uh, I don't really like that rougher brush that much, but I need to pick out something faster because my shit's gonna dry. Okay, now where'd it go? I'm gonna use the rougher O2 and I'm gonna go into the color. I'm gonna go into this like peachy orange copper color because it looked very interesting. This brush sucks for this. I'm going to spray it because I'm getting some fallout. Man, these Alien Cosmetics shimmers, they are literally out of this world. <laughs> I don't mean to be punny. I am actually being serious. They are awesome. Pretty. I can live with that. I go back in with the pink brush. This really was the quick and dirty. Man, that looks so cool with that yellow right there. And this is a pretty tame look for me, you guys. Come on. Dang. How's my blend? Good. And I'm just gonna go on my lower lid with this Wayne Goss number 20, and I'm gonna go into that deepest shade, but I'm just gonna do this barely. And then into the pink. and then into the yellow. And I'm gonna really blow this out this time. I mean, really blow it out. And then what would a fairy frolicking want on that lower lid. Green? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go in with this Jessup 230 and I'm going to go into this green right here. I'm really trying to catch the spirit of a frolic. That's fucking frolicky, motherfuckers, right? That's fucking frolicky as fuck. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, sorry, had to get that out. Now, now for my next trick. Man, that looks cute as hell. Now I'm gonna go into this purple for my inner corner highlight with my Spectrum A12. Man. Man, there's just really no combination with this palette that doesn't work because... <laughs> that looks so cute. I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. I mean, I think that, I feel like that's a wrap, you guys. Should I give me a f hi brow bone highlight or... Can I even stop myself? Mm, do I want to? Let me see something. See this color on the swatch. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Mm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it. You can't believe it, can you? <laughs> I can't believe it. Quick and dirty. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. I changed my earrings to my fairy earrings. I used my Lime Crime Lip Blaze in the color Herb, and I used my Kaleidos Makeup Highlighter in Diamond Dasher, which they sent me on accident. So I would have never ordered this, but I thought I'd use it. It looks okay, it's not my favorite. And I used my Bold Face Eye Wigs in Thrill Seeker, and they are fucking tired. They're tired. They want a break. What else? Oh, and I used my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On gel liner in the color Golden Glitzy. Golden Glitz? Glitzy Gold. Every time. So yeah, this is what it turned out like. And honestly, I really like this. I feel like this is like, this could be like an everyday look. Like if I was to picture like something that I would actually wear every day, which I would never fucking do. But if I did, this seems like a day-to-day -day look. Now, the one thing I am going to say is I sprayed the brush a little bit too much. And this, sh this shimmer right here, this peachy colored one is a little bit textured. I sprayed it too much and over the top of the NYX glitter primer with too much spray, you might get a little bit of texture if you already have textured eyes. So it did kind of build up. It looks a little bit like molten lava but like on film like I think it looks great and so like I'm gonna take pictures it's gonna look amazing and next time I won't put so much fucking setting spray on it you know I'm falling in love with this brand I'm it's just so good this palette is so cute this look is so cute and it's unexpected it's an unexpected combination of colors and I actually besides like mixing this purple with the green which I'm probably gonna do you guys know like aside from like mixing color like the exact opposing colors like I came as close as you could get to mixing opposing colors in this palette and it worked and all the shimmers look good with the other shimmers like I normally don't throw like a you know three different shimmers like piling on all the shimmers like in some disorganized way but it really does like represent a fairy frolic and so I feel like these splashes of color actually look really good and they all work together really well I think I mean for my first impression this is pretty fucking great that's all that's all I have this was a super short video I'm actually kind of proud of myself don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boyish charm. Hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys could have been anywhere, but you were here spending your precious time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.